And we are back with the 2% Podcast, Keanu Fentress, you got Harrison Ray, That's me. Coleman. Just trying to pick the energy up hey, a little bit. Trying to pick I'm the talking, energy bro. up, my fault. Don't Go ahead, bro. Start over. start over, let's I'm start over. I'm not going to start over. You're going to keep it going. <laughs> Bring the energy up a little bit. <laughs> yes, and... See, there it is. We have a Commodore in the building today, draft pick by the Royals, a World Series appearance, and... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got Javier Vaz in the building yes, with us. Yes, sir. What's up, my brother? What's up? How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. good Glad good. I'm here. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming, man. So, sure, sure. yeah, the 2%, man, we talk about just uh, how tough it is and how rare it is for high school athletes to get to Division One level, you know, hence the 2%, you know. And so hmm. women, men, across all sports, only 2% of those people make it. And so we talk about the journey, the process, the work that was put in, some people have different journeys. Everybody have their own separate process to get to Vandy. You know, you have your own unique story. And so kind of talk to us about, you know, high school recruiting and how you, the route that you took to get to Vandy. Okay, yeah. So first year in high school, I was five foot up. 100 pounds. Still yes. probably bigger than Roe. Similar to Roe. Yeah, but go ahead. Killer. And, Killer. <laughs> and, um, Freshman year, I played on like I played on varsity and stuff. Like, I feel like my my high school was okay. Like, we weren't we weren't great, so that wasn't that much. Like, sophomore year went by, whatever. Junior year, like that's when I like really started. I want to say like getting serious with baseball and like going to, like more tournaments and stuff. Because growing up, like my family wasn't equipped to like pay for tournaments and all that stuff. So, like, if I played, it's because, like, the team wanted me to, like, fill in for somebody or just come come and play for them and help them win. Like, so I never had really a set, like, travel ball team either because of, because of that reason. And, like, I started picking up, like, offers and stuff, like, small mid-major schools. But, like, I always thought, like, my mindset always was, like, I'm, I'm SEC ball player. Like, yeah. I'm going to play for the SEC. And then I was 15 years old, and I'm watching the College World Series, and I'm watching, like, the Super Regionals and all that, and I see this super short black dude playing for the Vanderbilt Commodores. It's <laughs> super short. And I'm like, and, like, it, it, it's, all, it's all funny right now, but, like, that inspired me. Yeah, for sure. Like, I, I didn't know, like, there was never guys that small playing, like, no. Nah big time games like that. Yeah, facts. And watching him play and watching how like Vanderbilt carried himself and watching how like they play hard, they don't they don't really talk too much shit or anything. Like they they just playing ball. And I and like that inspired me. I was like I'm going to play for that school one day. Business. And it was my junior year of high school how I got recruited to Vanderbilt or like at least on the radar. My high school, like we scheduled one of those high school games at Vanderbilt, mm. like you know, like mm -hmm. those yeah. high school games. Yeah, so I'm facing Hugh Fisher. Damn, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a fun at bat. I went four for four with three triples. Oh, Ooh. oh yeah, talk to yeah. shit. Yes. Talk to and shit. I, I played well, whatever, and like I got a tour after the game or whatever. I thought like I was like, wow, like. Big opportunity, like, that's awesome. Like, I'm just happy to even step on that field. Yeah. And he took the tour. I didn't really think anything of it. Like, me and Corpse, like, exchanged phone numbers and stuff. I didn't talk to, and keep in mind, like, throughout my whole recruiting process, the only person I've talked to, like, at Vanderbilt was Corpse. Like, I didn't talk yeah. to anybody else, but uh, Bax once. Um, so Corpse doesn't, like, say anything to me for, like, a full year. It's, like, my senior year. I'm like not going anywhere. Like I didn't want to go to a mid-major school. I at least wanted to give myself like every possibility to go like to a big time school. So like at the time where like I'm getting all these mid-major offers, like I have this opportunity to play at um, the number one JUCO in the country, which is LSU Eunice, which is the place I went to. So my, but long story, like senior year, um, same thing happens. Like we, play at Vanderbilt in a game and I go off again. So now I'm really like, now they're like, mm -hmm. okay, like we're gonna watch this kid. And then we have, 
we have like a tournament in IMG Academy. It's like a high school like showdown, like IMG Academy. Bax comes to that, and I go crazy there. And then in the summer, um, funny, I play for Kyle Wright's dad's team. So me and Trey, Kyle's little brother, yeah. we played summer ball together. We played um, at a we played a game at Vanderbilt. It was like just one game, and I do terrible, and I'm and I'm like all stressed out and everything. And Roger, Kyle's dad, comes up to me. He's like, "Yo, you have nothing to worry about. Like they love you. You're gonna go here." And right after that, um, I go into Corbs' office. Me and Corbs have a conversation and everything, and I get offered like I get offered and stuff like I was gonna come here of course like it's my dream school and everything and then something goes up wrong with my transcript mm. and I can't go to Vanderbilt anymore and that was I, I felt a lot of pains in my life but that one that one it was hurt. up there yeah. like I I was down for like a month because of that and I, I didn't think everything was over. I just thought like, like I guess dreams don't come true. That's how I was thinking. Yeah. Um, so long story short, I, I commit to Eunice. I go to Eunice um, and I loved it there. It was a great two years of my life. Um, my whole freshman year, um, didn't talk to Corps. Honestly, didn't really like talk to any schools my freshman year and I was all American that year. And then in the fall that next year, I started getting hella teams, like started to get power five schools like Arkansas, TCU, mm -hmm. Tennessee, teams like that. But Vanderbilt's not on that radar. Like, Van like I don't get no calls from Vanderbilt. And I'm like, nah, I'm gonna get that call. Yeah. So I keep working or whatever. It's sophomore year. My last game of my JUCO career, I went five for five with two bombs and a triple. <laughs> Cause going stupid, going crazy, <laughs> and it it like blew up, like that that yeah. blew up, and then I started getting more offers and stuff, and then Corbs calls me, and you know how Corbs is, he said, Javi, nice, <laughs> <laughs> saw your game, good game, I, yeah, I like that. Trust me, I've been paying attention, I've been everything, and. The thing about Corbs is every time he called, like after that call, that was the one time he talked about baseball with me. And it was, this was COVID year, so season's over. Like, this is like March. Mm -hmm. He calls me weekly, FaceTimes too. Like, he doesn't even call he me. FaceTime? He FaceTime me every time. Oh, he really liked you. Yeah. Know how to FaceTime. Yeah. I've seen that one time. That was it. He, he FaceTimed me, and he would only ask me, he would ask about my mom by first name, my dad by first name, my little brother by first name. And then he asked about my grades every time. He never talked about baseball with me. And all the other coaches that are calling me are like, yo, yo what are you doing? You still hitting? Are you still, like, trying to get outside and whatever? Mm -hmm. And, like, it's COVID. Like, and Corbett's like, no, like, you should spend this time with your family. And, yes, you should, like, work out and stuff. But, like, you don't need to do anything but be with your family right now as much as you possibly can. And I, like, valued that. Yeah. And, like, I always thought he was the realest coach for that. Like, he, he like, he showed care not just – for my playing ability, but for like the person I am and like the family that I'm around and everything. And that of course just made me want to go even more. And I finished school out, my grades are good. I get I get offered, I commit, like mm. that's how it happened. It's it's really crazy and I guess like <laughs> there's not many stories like that, I would say, and there probably won't be stories like that, but I mean, it was the best opportunity I ever got in my life, and no, you know, man. that's dope. <laughs> that's real, dog. Um, seeing you play, like I love it. You know, smaller guy, black ball player. I really love it. What did, what did that dog come from? Like you play with a different my, type of energy and passion. Just how I grew up. Talk more about that. Like, I I've. I've had like struggles, like when I was 10 years old, like lost my grandfather, like my parents got divorced and like, I was living in Huntsville and Huntsville is very, um, what's the word I'm trying, like gentrified. Yeah. I guess is the word. And I moved to Atlanta and it's a complete 160, 180. And like going there, like I was getting bullied. I was getting bullied every day, like, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Until one day, like I beat up the school bully mm. and then 
I just was like, man, oh, man. I like this now. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Like it was a man. <laughs> I was like, I just like this now. And I embraced it. I like, and I grew up being like mean, like I grew up a fighter, like tried to fight because I have hands. And I'll show you too. Like I wasn't afraid to show you. Mm-hmm. And and that's just how I brought it up on the baseball field too. Like I I try not to talk shit on the baseball field, but if I do, like that's just me. Like I'm yeah. just being me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm gonna keep that the rest of my life. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I'll say anything to you. I don't care how big you are, how little you are. I'll look at you dead in your face and tell you fuck you. Woo, you hey, get me lit right now. I ain't gonna hey. <laughs> You listening, you watching. <laughs> Hit what this man said, man. Man. dog. Look at Ro, Ro happy, <laughs> boy. Hey, we Hey, bro, we still killers, though. We still killers. But nobody believe you, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Bet, bet. So you go to Vandy, man. You there in the fall. Man, like, how is that, like, being on campus, being... That first meeting, that first training, I mean, the first training session, you know, like, you like hear the that. differences, like, you yeah. just came from, it's not, yeah. you're not coming from high school, you're coming from JUCO, so I know that's. So I'm coming from high, like, high school and JUCO, that jump is like, I mean, it's definitely a jump, but, like, JUCO, I'd say, like, the average arm you're facing is, like, 88, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. stock, like, candy fastball, all that, <laughs> and. I get to Vanderbilt, and of course, like, I'm like, Vanderbilt, ah, like, all these boys are monsters, like, dogs, like, I gotta come with it. Man, that first train, I did not come with it. The, actually, that whole fall, like, I got worked. Like, I got worked that fall. I didn't, I got three hits that whole fall, and they all came in black and gold. Like, I was getting shut down. That's, yeah. like, all that. Hey, like, bro, been happens. there. I got you. And it was just, it was really, like, I thought I was good, and it was, like, really that rude awakening, like, Damn. Dude, I got to get way better than where I am right now. Who 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 was some of the guy he was facing? He was like, ah. Uh, the first day I faced Jack and Rock out yeah. gate. <laughs> out gate. Uh, hello. Rock, I had a good at bat against Rock, but he struck me out. And Jack, it was, and I just mm-hmm. walked back to the dugout. And I was just like, oh. I really, that was the first time I've ever said, like, like I, I got beat. Like, those dudes are like. I'm not good enough right now. Mm. And I need to get better. And I was just like, I'm a realist. Like, I'll be real with myself. Like, I was not ready. I was not ready to play my first year at Vanderbilt. Like, mm. I, I wasn't. Mm-hmm. And that whole fall goes by. Like, but the thing is, I still, like, I worked as hard as I could every day. Even though I was trash and, like, all that stuff. Like, my intent was always there. And I just, like, was telling myself, like, just trust it. Just endure it. Like, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to fail. Like, you got to stay with it. You can't, like, you can't get down. Mm-hmm. And plus, like, all that fall stuff's going on, it stacked on school. Mm. They don't get that. That's <laughs> the part they don't get. And, like, you could, like, you could go, like, if I went into a hole, like, for, like, a good, like, three weeks of, like, it felt like I lived the same exact day every day for, like, those three weeks. Like, I'd mm. wake up, eat, go to school, training, get work to training. <laughs> And come back, and it's like I eat. Bro, that shit is demoralizing. Yeah, I eat, and like from like seven thirty to like twelve o'clock at night, I'm on my laptop doing homework, and then I go to sleep, and it's rinse and repeat. And mm-hmm. that was like really learning how to time manage was it was real, like because I'm coming from JUCO, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't go. But I, I I went. I went Say to it. class. <laughs> <laughs> I went to class, but I ain't go to class. And like here, like if you miss one class, you you miss like seven lessons. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. and practice. I mean, tra- and yeah. and training, like all that. Like mm-hmm. I wasn't missing class for none of that. No, and mm-hmm. it was crazy. And then I had my exit meeting, and Corps kept shot me straight. He was like. Yo, you're not even on the roster right now. And the guy I recruited is not the guy that came here. And, like, he's saying all this stuff. And, like, he's keeping it real with me. And I was just like, yes, sir. And I was like, when I come back, like, Mm -hmm. I'm going to be different. I'm going to be a different guy, have a different mindset. And I'd say my first fall, like, I got down and I, like, lost myself, like, in a sense. Like, Mm -hmm. lost that edge. Like, it's, like, almost like I kind of, like, accepted 
that like yeah I'm on Vanderbilt but like I might not play like yeah. fuck that like I wanted to play there yeah. like that was my yeah. dream so I, I busted my butt and like he kept it real with me and he was like you're probably not gonna play this year and I was like I'm gonna prove you wrong like like there's gonna be one point at some time during the season like you're gonna be like I can't have this guy not in the lineup you know mm. so when was that it was my oh. first like game that I like started was like Georgia and that's because like we had like a couple injuries like IT and like Coop was injured and like and the crazy thing was I didn't even know I was playing like I was just like, hey, I'm sure, like, cause I treated those live O live D's and BP like it was my game. Gold, uh, yeah. like getting after it. Yeah, I'm diving like all that. Like, hey. I'm trying to go as hard as I can. So I'm doing that all the time. And then Corp sends the like lineup like two years, like two hours before like you're supposed to like be there. Mm -hmm. So he sends like a wake up. It's like a Sunday game. It's like a Sunday mm -hmm. or Saturday game. Wake up. Corp sends the lineup. I'm trying to. I look at the lineup and I like. I scroll past. I see Vaz batting last, and I was like, <laughs> and I just. <laughs> I've never had a faster heartbeat in my life when I saw that lineup for the first time. And I played. I played all right. Like I, I didn't even think I did that well. It doesn't matter. I didn't care. I don't remember. But I did that, and then Coop comes back. It comes back, and I, I don't play for a long while. But I was. Same thing, like just I gotta keep working every day and better get better myself and better for the team. So, and then Dom comes up to me, like it's regionals, it's regionals, it's like game game two of regionals. He's like, "Yo, I went into Corp's office yesterday and told him to play you." And like, this is before that, like a month before that, we have like these sim games or whatever yeah. and I, I mm -hmm. like I was going like after the SEC tournament right yeah it's like after the SEC tournament it's like guys get like at bats that like either don't yeah, really like play or it's like pitch yeah. it at bats like uh, that was the thing like my role was I was the pinch hit guy like I would come off the like late in the game and I'd like try and get a single or get on base some way like that was, that was my role and Dom comes up to me he's like yo I told Corbs like to play you like and to trust me like you're gonna get your shot hmm and I was like, I was like, all right, bet. Like, we'll see. And the next day, like, I was, yeah, I was in the lineup. And for like somebody like Dom to like trust me like that, and like Dom was looked at as a leader, and like, like it meant a lot to me, because I didn't say anything. Like, I never complained. Like, I knew what it was. Like, mm. I gotta get mines. Like, yeah. but I gotta be patient too. Yeah, I gotta learn that, and I had to learn patience. And I, I was fine with that. Like, if I'm patient. And I'm cheering my team on, being a good team, and I'm doing everything I can control. I'm fine with that. As long as the team wins, it, it didn't matter to me. Talk more about, you say you lost your edge. Kind of, our story's a little similar. But my fall, like, I destroyed. I destroyed my fr my freshman year's fall. Started, I was leading off first game of the year. Lead out the whole series against Long Beach. Probably had like two hits. And then kind of like just start struggling from there. And then that's when I started to lose my edge. Like I came in hot. And then it's like season started. And it wasn't from a competition standpoint. It was more so just trying to do too much. Right. And then like towards the end of the season, I just got back to like, man, fuck it. I don't, I don't care. I'm finna go out here and do me. And finna do year out strong and things like that. Talk, how, talk about how you got that back. Honestly, like, the weight room. Hmm. I would say, like, yes, I'm a smaller guy, but, like, I can, I can push a lot of weight. And, like, that, that's what really took my confidence to the next level and, like, brought it back was just, like, being in the weight room and, like, working on your own. Like, it really feels good, like, at least for me, when I, like, work by myself. Like, and it's just like, it's like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, like no one's in the facility and like you just blare the music as loud as you can and you're like mm -hmm. in your mode. That, that's how I got mine. And really this, it's just, you can't, you really can't listen to outside noise. You can't, you can't search for solutions like when they're not there, like make up solutions out of nowhere. Like you can't do that, you really just, Gotta just be on your, your own shit and control what you can control, you know? And that's that's how I got my edge was the weight room. For sure. I guess 
you talked about how you really took into your own hands like the trainings and those live IDs. Um, I want to like paint a picture for people because we've had a couple other Vandy guys come on, but like how intense are those live live Ds? Like they, I don't think people understand. Like people are re- like guys are really out there making plays. Like oh, it's crazy. Some like. Someone like like Enrique, like Enrique's an amazing defender, and like you've seen some crazy plays in game. The things he's done in training, like I've never seen before. Mm-hmm. And like some of the things that like guys like Carter Young would do, and even like guys that like don't play, like it really shows you like how good like this place Deep. is. Like, <laughs> like everybody, like everybody making, making plays and balling, and that's what I loved about Vanderbilt because it's that competition. Like, oh, you making a play? Yeah. It's my turn now. Oh, you make one now. Like, let's go. Mm. And it, it was it's crazy. It's faster than it's faster than the game itself. It's crazy. It's like guys coming in that like like. I'm playing at second base. Spencer Jones comes up. It's the first round. Spencer's mm. literally trying to top spin That's, a ball on purpose yes. and blow me up. And it's like first round is infield in. It's yeah, infield it's, in, it's infield in. in. <laughs> He's literally trying to like top spin one hop a ball and blow me up right just, so he, just so he could talk shit. And like that environment of like talking shit and everything, mm. I thrive off that. I Come love on, that. I need I it. I love bro. that. And Corbs is like, he and encourages and like, Cor- He's Corbs a hype like, man of all of it. Yeah. He's telling him, hit it on the ground, right. blow somebody like, knock up. Knock him over. Yeah, yeah I, I feed off that. Like when guys talk stuff and everything, it's like I hit another like mode with that. And like other, rather than guys just being quiet and like you just doing your thing. That's like whack. nah, let's nah. It's that live o live D is no joke. Just a Vanderbilt training in general is no joke. Like if mm-hmm. whoever's watching this, if you come out to Nashville and like watch just the training, just watch how many moving parts there are. And just how efficient everything's you moving get lost too. Quick, I'm trying to tell you, that shit flows. You get bro. lost if you're not yeah. paying attention. Mm. It, it's crazy. My first square drill. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, hey, we were just. <laughs> hey, please tell the people what happens on your first square drill, please. You don't think that shit real? Dude. I can. I like, tell it, it's it's first training, so like you're hype. Like you're mm. you're like, oh, I'm about to I'm about to show my ass. Like mm. I'm about to make all these plays. We're taking ground balls and stuff. So like, first round, cool, whatever. Like it's like. Infield mm-hmm. in glove work. Second round, you go. I'm at second base. Like you, second round, you go back. It's like I'm doing throws to first, cool, and then it's ball in the bucket. So I'm cooling. And then once double plays hit, it is like by the time double plays hit, you're already like 25 minutes in the square drill. Like those stack up, and it really depends who's hitting you. The fungo too, right. mm. <laughs> but don't get four. Yeah, you get corpse. Oh, I'll, I'll say another square drill story about corpse in a second, but. Once you get to double plays, you're gassed. They feel like I wasn't even breathing. Hey, man. Uh, you're fighting to catch air. <laughs> like, really I was fighting. just telling that, and, bro. And, like, I, was, I would, like, have my hands on my knees. And then, like, you know, they, that's nah. not going to fly. Get your hands off your knees. I get up. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> and, then, and then you get tired and, like, Cause like I'm trying to like show all my effort and like squares you, you really gotta you gotta pace yourself. And I wasn't pacing myself, Mm-mm. and I was dead. Square that was the most tired I've ever been. And I've went through two Omaha challenges. Bro, you get to the slow rollers and it's just like, bro, I can't. My bro, you get to the slow rollers and then you got plays at the plate. Plays, plays at the plate. <laughs> <laughs> bro, nah, yeah, man. it's it's crazy. But like back to the fungo, depends where your fungo guy is. There's one time. So, Corpse like shows all like the like rankings in Square Drill. Oh yeah, I forgot we didn't mention that. Yeah, you're getting ranked too. You, like you ranked like all your of fielding it. percentage is shown yeah. on the Square Drills, and I was like second or third. So I'm like, okay, that's not that's yeah, that's not cool. bad. Corbs in the Corbs in the classrooms like, Javi, third on Square. That's good. So it's not gonna be like that today. <laughs> we get into Square. He said, Javi, go to short. Go to short with Carter. He was like, give me the fungo. It's infield in. I, I think I made like actually like eight like straight airs and I got kicked out of square and all and everything. And he was like, he was like, if you want to inf- if you want to be an infielder, you got to work on your own. Don't come back until you say you're an infielder again. Mm. He, straight like that. Just straight like that. Straight face too. He's serious too. <laughs> yeah, he was dead serious. I knew he was serious. <laughs> But you know he was talking in that tone like he was like trying to just throw jabs at yeah. me, but he was also serious, mm-hmm. and I was just like he 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 fucked me up, dude. It was yeah. bad. 
And like he was like manipulating the hops. It was crazy. It was now he put, surgeon. put spin on it too. Surgeon yeah. with the fungo. Is that your craziest corpse story? Now, I know you got a different mm. corpse story than that. Craziest corpse story. It can be. I've a, got some crazy ones. Yeah, go ahead. Let speak on it. Um. So we get swept by Tennessee. Mm. Damn, y'all couldn't have been us. Tell me about it. I was just as embarrassed as everybody else. Like I played in the game. <laughs> I'm a I'm a Vanderbilt baseball fan. Like I was like, oh my god. But yes. So it's Monday. Off day. Off day. <laughs> Off day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everybody meet me in the classroom at five o'clock. Mm, god, uh, you yeah. <laughs> you nervous. Saw I'm in front of courts. Like. This is podium, it's Tate, then it's me. Like, ah, that's a bad spot. I'm in it. I gotta like be like eyes mm-hmm. locked 24 seven. So like, he's just, he's just talking, like he's like calm and then like he starts talking about the game and what happened. Cause the first game, we didn't, we didn't play that. We should have won that game. We didn't play bad and like we lost the balls in the sky, like whatever. I mean, he dominated me and Spence about that but he was just I've never seen him like that before like oh he was like shaking and red and like and like I was like oh my god he was spitting everywhere and shit like anything close like he was hitting it like yeah he like he punched his like he punched like damn near through his monitor and like it was like hanging it was hanging off like the podium but it was like staying there but it was like swinging and it just like it didn't stop swinging the whole time the whole time so like everybody's like looking at like is it gonna is it gonna fall like when is it gonna fall and he's like what the fuck are y'all looking at and like all that stuff like bangs the door like bangs on the um the white the projector screen like he's just oh my god he was he was on one i've we deserved it though. Like, nah, no, man, you get dude. swept by UT. Yeah, y'all, y'all we deserved swept. it. You won, can't be getting won, swept. If you won in the middle of the season, y'all would have been kicked out the He would have kicked y'all out. Field about a week. Oh, field, man, I, I thought he was going to cancel the season on him. <laughs> he should have. <laughs> but oh. I've, I've, I'm shooting blank right now. Yeah, cool yeah, like stories. a like a personal story, like with, with you, like besides like the SM meeting and. That, that, that fungo That fungo you know, one me, is funny I mean Not really any like Crazy stories Like me and Corbs Like we, we're, we, we're tight We're close But like me and Corbs This conversation Is just mainly Just me and him Just talking shit to each other yep. <laughs> Yeah <laughs> like, That's really what it is mm-hmm. Like I don't I've seen him do To other people Like I've been Dirty Do him dirty <laughs> Yeah I've, I've done I've seen some stuff I've looked, looked the, other, the other way And everything But Man, I got a story. I got man. some more like off camera and when we start yeah. talking. I can tell this story for sure. We uh it's my freshman year, I registered my freshman year. Um and I'm in the stands, I sit right behind I sit with Maggie yeah. and it's me and AJ Franklin right behind the home plate. And I think it was Kentucky, I don't know what we, we stole home. Uh Ethan Paul stole home and it was a design play, you know, we he put it on and he still is home, crowd go crazy, everybody, you know, wow. I saw the signal, I knew it was happening, so I, I know it was about to happen, you know, and Doug out go crazy, you know, they down there, we meet them, high fives and everything, and so I'm, I watch it, I'm like, I'm chilling just like this, you know, I'm like, okay, that boy, EP, you know, and so we head into the locker room after the game, and either he's talking to us, I don't know, I think it might have been like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday game, so a Sunday we in there, um, lifts, and so we're all there, and Corbs is sitting down one of the lockers, we sit down on the ground, and he's just talking, da 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 da, and he just goes, when we still home, and he turns at me, you better have some fucking juice up your ass when we still home. Like, he just turns at me and just says that, like, <laughs> out loud. And, like, he just pointed at me, like, da. And I'm like, dog, like, I was in the stand. Like, I'm like, I'm looking. I'm, I, did, I did a clap, but it wasn't enough for him. Yeah. You know, like, I should have been up out my seat and all this other type of stuff. But, like, 
my, I'm not playing. And so, like, the, the fact that he's just looking at everybody else and he just, Look at boom. You. <laughs> and, like, out of nowhere, it was like, I, like I, I, and so after that happened, you know, I got rolling chef. And so after that, they just, they look at me, they just start laughing <laughs> after, after he leave and whatnot. I was like, dog, like, bro, I ain't do nothing, bro. You feel me? But, nah, he, he got on me for sure with that. But, like, going back to, like, the training sessions, we used to talk about every, before every game, you know, we in our circle before the game start, rocking back and forth. And Grizz used to say this thing, like, we play against better competition in training every day. And like this, this game is nothing, you know, and which is true. Like mm-hmm. playing against each other every day is like the game. Like we weren't even thinking about. I mean, we were. We respect the opponent, but it's like that, guy for that, guy, that, you guys yeah. not messing with yeah, us 100%. in the game. You feel me? And so that's something you get at Vandy for sure. Yeah. Before we get into um, the Stanford game, talk about the college world series experience from. It's Rike say you got some shades from Green Hills or something like yeah, that. He, he said, got to, yeah, y'all, he y'all said you blew a bag. So you blew a bag, huh? So we went, we won a uh, super regionals or whatever. It's like a week and a half till we go to Omaha. We get a check of per DM. Mm. Shave. Love. So that feels great. Me and Kike go to the mall. We're like, we're going to get us some. Just some. <laughs> <laughs> We're just walking in stores just to walk in and everything, like all the designer stores, all that. We walk into Louis Vuitton. And Louis Vuitton is my favorite uh, designer brand. And I saw these shades. And I grabbed them and like, they got some like flash on them or whatever. Like if you look at my Instagram, you can find them. Um, And I just put them on my face. And like, I didn't even look at the price, didn't know what the price was. And I was like, I'm getting them. Mm, Dummy. Idiot. Worst decision of my life. For them, make you feel like a new man, bro. You be idiot. So I got him, and Enrique was like, God, I cop some shades too with you. So he blows a bag, like, on some Versace shades. Mm. And I bet he probably regrets them too, buying those shades. How much well. those shades cost, bro? My shades? Yeah. 700. 700. God, God, bro. On some shades, man. Ooh, yeah. they look good on the gram, though. <laughs> they look crazy. They, yeah. I, got, I got my fair share of compliments on them. Yeah. But I was going to return them. And, like, smart we were having man, a conversation. And actually, man. Corbs is the reason why I kept them. Because Corbs was like, nah, you bought them. You want them. You keep them. Mm. Don't return them. You wanted them. Like, you wanted to have fun. Like, you keep them. I'm returning them. So... <laughs> Get my money back. Got some shoes. I, no, I wish I would have got that back so fast. But that was mm-hmm. cool. And we go to, so we fly to, um, Omaha. We're smooth, fresh, like mm. suited up. Everybody suited and booted. Good. Yeah, everybody looking good, popping off. Definitely, we walk in there. We see all the other teams. We definitely the smoothest team out of everybody. Okay, <laughs> ain't nobody was nobody was fucking with us. Um. It was just, it was like a, it like, it was a dream come true, but it was like so surreal. And the crazy thing was, like stepping on the field, like we were like training and like have BP on the field and everything. Like, I was nervous, like heart racing, everything. But like, it was weird. Like once I like stepped across the white lines and it was like the first pitch was stunned. It was like, I got like this like relaxing yeah. feeling. And it was like you're here like this is literally what you've dreamed of this is literally what you watch every year since she was like 10 years old and like you're playing in it like mm. facts like enjoy it like i was just trying to enjoy it as much as i possibly can of course i was trying to win like that was the main goal was to win but like it was crazy like i did everything like i like say if we had an off day or whatever like i was going to whatever game yeah, I was playing like I. I just wanted to like take it all in, take it all in, and all the home experience. And I don't know if y'all were like they had them when y'all were there, but like the scooters, man, I like was on nah, the scooter. Nah, we had him. Yeah, we do. He walked scooters. everywhere. I, I did scooters. the scooter one time, and I didn't know you had to park it in a certain area. Yeah, there's like a little restricted zone, right. but like it, a lot of us would go to the games and like go to like the venues or whatever to like check it out. So it was, it was funny. We were like a big like convoy of just scooters just. Riding down the street, 
It was cool though, but Omaha was crazy. It's probably the best experience I ever had in my life. Probably mm -hmm. will be up there yeah. for the rest of my life. Like yeah. I will never, I won't play in front of that many people until I make it to the big leagues. You know, not That's lying. very true. Ain't nobody very in my true. league at all. And all the games I played, and like it's crazy. That's the crazy thing about baseball, and the amazing thing about baseball is like, in football, if number one plays number eight. Yeah. They're probably going like Bama. Let's say if like Georgia faces like TC, like TCU or like Oregon or something, like yeah. Georgia's going twenty piece. Of yeah. While like we were like the two seed and we're facing like Arizona, who's like one of the last seeds, but Arizona was the number one team in the country, and they show that they were the number two. We beat them, but like mm -hmm. those like top to bottom, like it was quality at best. Like they yeah. were legit. Yeah, like all every team there was like legit. And like on paper, the worst team there was probably Mississippi State, and they won it. They, they were the worst team on paper. Yeah, hey, hey, Omaha it don't matter, bro. It Once don't you matter. get to Omaha, it really does not matter what seed you are. That's how it was when we won it my in fourteen. On paper, Virginia was better than better than us. We beat them. Next following year, on paper, we were better than yeah. Virginia. They beat us. Shit's crazy. It, it I mean, was crazy. Yeah. Man, it was it was fun, but like playing in the Championship, and there's 30,000 30, people there, and 2,000 of them were Vanderbilt fans. Like, it was crazy how loud that place was for another team. Hell State. And, like, we, like, they called, like, we were the home team the first game. They, like, like they're booing. It's, like, it, it's the loudest boo ever, and, like, you'd get that little itch, and, like, you love it, and we worked them. And, we facing them game two. They just catch fire. Like I don't know how. Like I thought. Like we won game one. I'm like, mm. it's yeah. about to happen. We're about to. We're about to really like win it. Do this. Like I've never like won the state championship. Like I would have won probably my COVID year at JUCO my sophomore year, but that didn't happen. So I never was a champion. Like this was like. Shit, I could tell my grandkids about one day, like, I'm about to win this thing. And they work us, man. And that was a terrible feeling. And I, I'm not going to lie. Like, we just looked so – like, looking back on it, and, like, I rewatched the game and everything. Like, if you, like, see, like, the faces, like, we just looked down and looked defeated. And, like, mm -hmm. that's not Vanderbilt. Yeah. You know? And – it looked like we were beating like the fourth inning when we were only down five runs. Like we should be right there. Like we are right there, you know. And I mean, it's the past. It's definitely a learning point. But I mean, that's something I never. That will never. Shit sit still right hurts, huh? Fuck yeah. yeah, dude. What? Backtrack to that at bat against Stanford. You talk about ass ass bat, no moments. Like, had some good ass at bats, man. man. Hey, bro, <laughs> nobody really. This I looked at it last night. This man has not had a season where he struck out more than he has walked. Hey, Amen. He has not had a season. If it's a ball. Senior year, this man was the yeah. sixth hardest guy to strike out in the okay. SEC. Talk about just you compete every single pitch, dog. Yeah, have to. You do, mm. but like that at bat, like people don't understand. Two how outs, close yeah. that is. It gets so, one of the best closers. The nah. D best closer in college baseball who? at the time. It was um, it was actually Stanford's ace who was the ace. Who was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was one of the best pitchers, pitchers in the country yeah. at the time. Like, like, he was yeah. straight. He was, yeah. Damn, dude. It was like homework. Kevin Copps, and then like it was like Beck. Like he yeah. was he was yeah. up there. He was legit. And he comes in. He's like shutting us down for like the, it's an elimination game. It's secret swim. So they're giving mm -hmm. us the best guy. He they take him out on like short rest. And he's he's throwing a power curveball. He's throwing it like eighty eight too. It's sharp. legit, like sharp twelve six curveball. It's big, it's big time curveball. So he's carrying everybody on that. And I know that like when I step in the box, like I'm gonna get that at some point. And I just got like if I get it, I just gotta see it over my head because mm. twelve six. Like if it starts like at my chest, like it's just strike. It's gonna drop down. Mm -hmm. And like that at bat, like I'm on deck and. It's two out, like, I forgot who was before me. He gets out. And I'm walking up to the plate, and I just tell myself, I put it on my life. Like, I ain't going to be, I ain't going, I ain't going to be me going. It ain't going to be me. Ooh, 
it can't be, bro. It not, on hey, not on national nah, TV. Nah, bro. Not to end the, the season, homies like, watching? No. Like, yeah, I, not me. Not today. No. And he he throws he throws a heater and like it was the whole stadium's like silent. Like first pitch, like he throws a heater. I swing, foul it straight back. It was my pitch. Like I missed it. Yeah. Uh, I missed it. And throws a he throws a spike curveball. I take it. He throws another curveball. Lands it. It's one two count. Everybody starts standing up. It's mm, and like we're Va- we're Vanderbilt. Like so you know like unless you're a Vanderbilt fan like you hate it. Yeah. Like mm. you hate Vanderbilt unless yeah. you're a Vanderbilt fan. So like everybody in that stadium is like cheering against mm. us. And like everybody's clapping and I call time and I step out the box and like I like shrug my shoulders and take a deep breath and like I hear nothing. Like just everything cancels and I like look at the dude, the dude's looking at me, like I look dead in his eye and I just shake my head. And mm. I step in the box and I win a pitch, foul off a pitch, win another pitch, win another pitch, it's three, two count. And he throws a pitch that's like, it's it's close. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's close, but like I'm not swinging at that. And like I know the umpire zone was good the whole game, and I take it, and Spencer's coming up for a pinch hit at bat. Like I'm thinking I'm on first base now at this point. Like I won, I won my job. Like I won that at bat. Like I gotta get to the next base. I gotta get to second base no matter what. And when I get to second base, it's either I'm gonna get thrown out the yeah. plate or I'm yeah. scoring. Like I yeah. gotta score. Yeah. Like I have no choice. So Spencer hits a backside backside single and like the shortstop gets it. I don't know why he throws I guess he thought Spencer was slow since he's so tall, but Spencer mm-hmm. he moves. That boy moves. Moving. That boy moves. Yeah. Six, that seven, boy moves. he be moving. He moves. Spencer beats it out. Shortstop makes a good play, but the first baseman misses the pick. So now it's I'm at Spencer doesn't advance though. Like I'm at third spins at first and I mean at the time that's one of the best hitters in the country coming up to bat Enrique mm. and Enrique like that guy beat Enrique his first at bat with the mm-hmm. with the breaking ball mm-hmm. first pitch of that at bat was a breaking ball Enrique rips it <laughs> into right field like I, I talk highly of that dude Enrique. like Enrique's a real deal and people won't understand unless they see him in person that dude's real deal and we we won it. We won that game off a wild pitch, and like mm-hmm. it was crazy because um, <laughs> he threw one high before he like threw yeah. it like over the guy's head. Mm-hmm. He threw it high, and the catcher had to jump and yeah. catch it. I remember. I, I was like, he's gonna, he's gonna he fuck gonna, up. Like, man, he, I said the same yeah, thing. I yeah. said he, I said he was uh, I'm like he's feeling the pressure right now. Yeah, he threw that curveball that high. I'm like, nah, that's, that's not like him. He yeah, because it. he's yeah, spiking yeah, everything, and that yeah, was the yeah. first curveball mm-hmm. like. He was trying Once to make he started getting a couple hits off him and mm-hmm. everything, could at bats, he starts throwing his curveball high. Like, yeah, I like, he feeling it. Yeah, yeah, like he's feeling some heat. Mm-hmm. He throws, he throws it high and he throws it again. He throws it over his head. Like when he throws it over his head, Spencer at yeah. third. Like we won the game. That was the craziest game by far. By far. I remember you getting dumb hype once uh, Rico got that hit and oh, yeah. they showed you. Hope you can find that clip for sure. Cause I'm like. Yeah. Fire me up, man. Go, go, I, love, I love those dudes, man. Like, those are like my brothers. I mean, y'all know how it is. Yeah, hell yeah. You're with them more than anybody. Yeah. So mm. Those are our brothers. Like, shoot. Yeah, for sure. We got to get We fight other. each other. We make yeah. up. We love each other. Like, you know? Yeah. Mm. Like, say that. <laughs> we got to talk about that catch, though. Which one? You know which one I'm talking about in left field. Um, that diving one. Is that I mean, against ECU? Uh, regionals? Yeah. Georgia Tech. Yeah, the one that, like, just that was like my TK. first game I started like at the regional. Okay. Yeah. So I know, like, I'm going in to like play lockdown defense, and like I was starting to play. Like I was starting because I'm speed guy. Like I'm not here to hit bombs or anything. I'm here to get on base and play like premier defense at my position. So Jack's Jack's pitching, and like the ball's hit, and it's like that little flare that's in like the little triangle. Mm-hmm. And Bax tells me, like, before that pitch, it was crazy. No, it wasn't even Bax. It was Corpse, like, wizard, wizard. He, he's, like, he's like, Javi, Javi. And Bax gets my attention. Corpse gets my attention. He tells me to move over two steps. I move over two steps, and the ball's hit. Mm. I take a sit. He's at in. I'm just running in, and I, was like, see the ball, and I look at the wall, and I was like, Either catch the ball or kill mm-hmm. yourself. Yeah. 
stove and like i didn't i didn't realize i was that far from the wall i it looked like it was way closer yeah and i just dove and i got it and like whole crowd comes up and like i guess that was like my first like real vanderbilt moment and i was just like i was cheesing ear to ear dude like that too it was crazy i made i made some cool plays i'd say my favorite play i made was against auburn I like climb the climb wall. Climb the wall. Mm, mm-hmm. I remember my, that one. That was probably my favorite play. Man, you got some juice, dog. Where that come from? I used to not have it. <laughs> um, like the weight room, for sure. I mean, I know it's gonna come. I'm still like, I'm still getting juice. I think, but I, I never like. I always wanted to hit bombs, but I never could. So that's never been my game. I just try to be as like flat as possible, up the middle, the other way, and. My home runs come because I just spin it well. Yeah. Honestly. Like, I don't know where the juice came from. Like, I just started, because I didn't hit a bomb that whole, f- like, fall last year. Mm-hmm. And then it was, like, a spring, like, inner squad. And, like, I put one, like, way, way deep, like, in the inner squad. And I was, like, I, it, like, surprised myself. Like, I was, like, shoot, like, what's up with that? And I started looking at my swing, and I started, like, really thinking about just like gathering energy in like this back leg and mm. just gathering as much kinetic energy for my body but being controlled yeah. hmm. with that as well. Hmm. So like I'm small, so like I got a leg kick and everything. And like, so I just really just tried perfecting my move. And once I perfected that move, like it all just came sure, shit. with the juice, so. Man, you got a chance to play with uh, two dynamic people in um, your Friday, Saturday guy, your, your first year there, you know, just, how how was how that, you know, playing behind those boys, watching them, how they prepare, you know, the mindset that they have, like, almost like enjoying the show a little bit, yeah, you know. That's really what it was. It was yeah. just a big show. And, and like, how was it? Like, it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> like, shoot. Yeah, it made it look easy. We scored two runs, we won the game. Hey, all, all we need is two. <laughs> it's it's two not a bad feeling to have. Game. And exactly, like, Really, like we were okay offense. Like we we led the SEC in average that year. Like we were, we were okay, but like like come on, let's be real. The boys carried us. Mm. Like they they were they were that good. Horse horses. Like they were horses. Yeah. Like they were they were that good. And mm. facing them, facing them, and like knowing how they prepare and like how like intentional they are with their work and their preparation. Like it's 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 no brainer why they perform so well. Mm. Like it really translates why they perform so well and like. You got Jack, who's a really poised pitcher, calm guy, like who's like who's really good, like locating, gonna come at you, or whatever. But facing Rock, Rock's like this big dude, and he's like huffing and puffing and shit, and like he's like you like on the mound, you're like this, you're in the box, and you're like this motherfucker's crazy. <laughs> he's scared, he like Rock's like a bulldog mentality, like ah, like he was Friday night mentality, where like we throw Rock on Friday night, he's like basically scares the team. And then you got yeah. Jack throwing 97 to 100 <laughs> at the knees, mm. landing four or five different pitches. It's hard to do. Like, Rock's, Rock was the tone setter. Yeah. He set the tone for the whole series. Like, because everyone fed off Rock. Everyone fed off his energy. Like, he had that, like, Rock was an asshole, but, like, he was that good asshole leader. Yeah. That you need, like every team needs that I'm guy, saying, and Rock was that yeah. guy for us. Mm. So everybody fed off him. Like when Rock spoke, like we listened and everything. So like when he's balling, like we fed off that, and like we lit. Like, it was fun, mm. and just carry that through the weekend. No, he definitely. Uh, I mean, watching that that UT series and him him pitching. I think especially he had that one weekend against Georgia, mm-hmm. and he still. A lot of K's, but he got out there and they look Yeah, he got hit. hit. Yeah. And the thing is with Rock, like, when Rock comes back in, like, from after, like, an inning or whatever, he's, like, straight stone cold face. Doesn't matter if he gave up, like, six runs or if he struck out the side in nine pitches. Like, he's very stone stone Mm -hmm. cold face. He's, like, so when we need runs or whatever, he's, like, you got me, y'all guys got me, y'all guys got me, y'all guys got me. And then, like, he gets hit. He was, like, yo, that's on me, but y'all guys got me. Mm. Whether he's hitting or not, like, he... He takes up for himself, like he he owns up to his shit. Like, yeah, his stuff wasn't that good that that mm-hmm. the best that day, but like we got his like we got your back, dude. 
Now yeah. fast forward to that UT weekend, <coughs> he was a lot more animated than usual. Oh yeah, on, on that weekend, and that was y'all know how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we don't like them over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> yeah, I mean, I saw him. Nah, and they're like really on top of y'all, like, like Tennessee fans, like they're like really like they're right there. It's crazy, and it's like super loud because like the stadium like comes up, so all the, like the noise is trapped in there. It's so mm-hmm. loud, and like the fans are like really grueling, and like they will say anything. I mean, they'll say anything. And I don't have to go into detail what they'd say, but like that had us mm. that had us ready. Like yeah. you, like they they were talking shit to Mass and he's yeah. the first base coach. Yeah. Like like talking about his wife and his kids and all that, right? Like it was crazy stuff. Like, nah. Mm. You mess with one, you mess yeah. with all. Fact. I mean we had to yeah. do it to him that weekend. Mm. I hate them. Oh my God. Don't get me started <laughs> on them, bro. <laughs> A lot of people probably don't know your your pops played professionally, got all the way up to AAA, and same thing with me. My my father played uh, professionally with Manny Ramirez, played up to high A, and he was he's the biggest influence ever in my life, and I aspire to be just like him. How important was having a your dad in your life, but also having a father that played the game at a very high level. And yeah, also play without, in the SEC too. Definitely without my dad, like I would not even be probably talking to y'all right now. Like I wouldn't be that good. Like I wouldn't have that. Like I always wanted to be like my dad, you know, like baseball. I just wanted to be a baseball player. Like, like my dad, like every time, like he would always, I was always around the game because he was coaching like basically like when I, mean, I was, could remember as long as I could remember, he was always coaching. So I was always there and I was always playing and everything. And that was a big influence in like, he never really got on to me about baseball stuff or anything. He let me just do my thing or whatever. Like, if I wanted to work with him, like, I would have to go get him and everything. So he, like, really made sure that, like, if I want to work and if I'm, like, really serious about yeah. baseball, like, he, like, I had to make sure and let him know that I'm, like, serious about baseball. But, like, he's – the knowledge he's given me and everything, like, it's – can't thank him enough for that. He made me the baseball player I am today. Oh, that's real. Your pops went to Alabama. You ever thought about? Oh yeah, I there? did. But like, there's a story with that. Uh, so I wanted. So in JUCO, so Alabama doesn't like like I don't get offered anything. The only matter of fact, the only powerful five school to offer me out of high school was Vanderbilt. Mm. The only one. Only one that mattered. And facts. Really. So we get to like I'm in JUCO, like Alabama. I'm, like they're the main school that's like talking to me. Yeah. I'm like, I, I guess I'm following following my dad's footsteps. I'm gonna go to Bama. I'm like, cool. COVID hits or whatever. But like, literally like two weeks before like the season gets canceled and everything, like Bama calls me. He's like, hey, we really like you as a player and everything. We want you here, but we're gonna offer you a preferred walk on spot. And I was like, I ain't no preferred walk-on. like. No offense to anybody, like, that's a walk-on. Mm-hmm. Like, they, like, get their stuff. Like, much respect to y'all. Like, mm-hmm. but I thought, like, one, I can't afford it. Two, like, if you was looking at me at a walk-on, like, you just wasting my time. I'm not yeah. here to be looked at as a walk-on. Like, I'm a baller. And the crazy thing was, like, when when word starts getting out that, like, Vanderbilt's, like, like close to all for me and stuff, like, they call me back. It's like, hey, we just got some money freed up hmm. and everything. It's crazy yada, how that worked out, huh? Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, okay. Hmm. I'm committing to Vanderbilt in three days. Hmm. Like, no. You hung up on him? Yeah. What? <laughs> play with me, bro. <laughs> oh, we. I'm not finna play with me. <laughs> he said, all right, I'll see y'all. But, like, so after that, like, I was like, nah, like, I need, and I never got to play Bama, but, like, that was the one team, like, if I was playing Bama, like, I, there was no doubt in my mind, I was getting busy against Bama. Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. So. You ain't do, like, no pranks or anything? Or, like, you ain't get to fight, you know, nothing like that at Vandy or? Like, Star V, and or, I started V, like, one guy, it was Spencer. Oh, you put, put Spen- to the V? Yeah. Yeah. It's me and Spencer Jones, it was crazy, too. It was, like, he, like, Pushed me or like I pushed him or something, and it was like no words said. Like we just emptied our pockets. Like Ooh, took I our like shoes that. Off, like stood in the <laughs> middle. Of the <laughs> Ain't bro. no talking. Got with it. Like no talking. We just yeah. just wrestled. Like I held mm-hmm. my own too. I mean, yeah. And then like I was on top of him. Like, I took him down and everything. I was on top of him and then like his big ass. Once I <laughs> yeah. he rolled over, yeah. he was on me. It was, <laughs> it was, it was wraps. Yeah. It was over. With. That sounded like a Harry. Sounded like what? 
Here you got to put his ass there we constantly. Got Every Ooh. single time, bro. He ain't wearing shit, Ooh, dog. Nothing. I used to whoop his time ass out. out. Who, who, who did you beat? Who, who did you beat? How about I'm that? trying to think about who. What, bro, you're bringing we, up all these times. Put you, some receipts. You go through. Where are the you receipts? Go, you go through. We, I smacked boo. you. There's a receipt for that We one. wrestled in the locker I room, though. I smacked you, but there, where's the receipt? Why don't you talk about no smack and run stuff? You, talk you don't about have smacked and ran, yeah. smack box that we slap box, and you actually beat me. Where's the proof? So y'all keep bringing up these times that the I apparently video. got the video. We could put the video on the. Is not, there's nothing in the video. You slow the video why, down. Why you getting so riled up, bro? Because it must be true. Out, cause everybody keep coming at me because I'm getting my ass beat. I'm still trying to figure out when I got my ass beat. So hold on, hold on. So re re whooped your ass when, bro? Y'all wrestled when, but you didn't beat nobody in wrestling. In the when room. I'm trying. If y'all gonna do that this, year. pull up some pull up some receipts. Yeah, that year. The receipt, where are the receipts? I need to see it. We nobody, no one filmed stuff in the locker room, bro. But all right, so we know that I like just now. He telling us that him and Spencer wrestle. We not, we not asking for receipts. We just so know. where did where did me and Reed wrestle? In, in the locker room. And he put me on my ass. Plenty of times. Yes. Plenty. I, I wrestled him multiple times now. <laughs> I don't know about plenty of times. I know you put your ass up. Here we go. No, here. Yeah, no yeah, within yeah, that setting. Y'all, you know, that, this that, a mute that point. time y'all wrestled, this he time, dropped that one, like you, three times. You know that one time after the one time too. Exactly. The official face number one, man. Exactly. I remember there. I give you credit. You got me one time. Yes. That's the only time you wrestled. All right. So I gave you that credit again. one but time. You just, said, you just said it never happened, though. I never said that. I never <laughs> said that. And you know well, that. We, 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 we got it on film, so. We could, we could pull it back. We can pull it back. Man. I didn't say that. So you, we slap boxed multiple times. Did we not? Bro, I mean, one time, and I, and I, not, not, not the one in the room that you talking about, but it was one in the locker room where your eye was pink. Yes. But <laughs> yeah. Did I, I, did I not hit him? Did I not get him one time? No. Too? No. In that know. same time, did I not? He got me, but I got him as Bro, well. Bro, you yeah, never. You did. Thank you. Did, you. Did, you did. Hell yeah. no. Hell I no. I remember that. Exactly. You ain't. You ain't. You definitely. Ain't, you definitely ain't landing clean. No, I think. I think like like a little swipe. He like you want to land me clean, like bro. Now, bro. Bro, you didn't Just land like me clean, he bro. Did, he did get me in mind, but I did get him in the cheek. I got him clean, so I don't want to hear it. my point exactly. <sighs> so. You still can't hoop, bro. You still hear me. Oh, my God. That's one thing. I, I want to hoop, bro. Not with yes, you. man. He the, hey, the worst, okay. the worst black oh, hooper ever, bro. Bro, nah, nah, I ain't never, I ain't never seen no shit like this, bro. It's embarrassing, bro. You can't be that bad. No, I'm not he good. can't I'm dribble, good. dog. All right, all right, all right. That's cap. That's cap. I can dribble. I <laughs> no, can we dribble. call him right I now. Dribble. I can dribble. Okay. I'm so not saying I'm Kyrie. I'm not saying we, I'm Kyrie. We okay. No one's Kyrie, but anyhow, Omaha. We go to the Omaha Boys yes, Club I miss the thing. I miss no, 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 no. But like you dribbling to go to the layup. Trash. <laughs> I think it, like I, I said, I could dribble. I didn't say it was pretty. I think it went over the goal. If it I remember, right, that, no, that's so deep. Not go over the goal. Not go over the goal. Did not hey, go over the goal. You know somebody nah, like he, nah, nah. be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. He jib, he go. Did it? Did it? All I'm gonna say, put it on your mama. It went over the goal. It definitely, it definitely. Put it on your mama. It went over the goal. I put it. I put it on. We have a debate to settle. Can you help? Yes. Yes, please, Ham. I'll ask it. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Make, make sure you say, <laughs> shut up, bro. Shut goal. up. Be quiet. Be quiet. No, no, no. We talking about the layup. So, Ham, exactly. Omaha, we at the at the boys' center where we eat lunch with them. We playing basketball with them. And we get ready to leave. And we outside on the outdoor court. And we trying to get Harry to do a layup. Because we know how Harry was doing Omaha, doing a layup line. He was trash. And so, <laughs> we trying to get Harry to do a layup. How like did he not? The ball went over the goal or hit the top of the top of the goal, and it was like terrible. Did it go? Did, did it go? Shut over? up, bro! Like it, it, it hit the top of the goal and was not even remotely close. <laughs> <laughs> did, it, did, it go over, did it go over? Okay. That was the question. Did it go? But over? The, hold on. But you didn't hit the rim though on the layup. I never said I did. But who? Okay, who? I'll, say, I'll say this. It's a layup though. How you hit the top of the goal on a layup? Say it again. The only person that might be as bad at layups as Harry was Michael Sanborn. Yeah, hey, yeah, was that was bad. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, got, you, you cool with that? The worst. Hey, bro, you can't be good at that. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got to take your black card, dog, for okay. for sure. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> But all right, Ham, man, right, we, we, we going to get you on the podcast for soon, man. All right, my guy. Take care, Ham. All right.
So when we put he would on probably have some funny stories. Bro, Ham got some. Ham hey, 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 We played one on one. Wasn't that a close game? You just said you beat me. Now it's a close I'm game. Sure <laughs> <laughs> like, which one is it, bro? Right. No, you, didn't score. you didn't score the first time we played, bro. I don't. Oh, oh I think I think Zoe was there. I don't think I was there. I saw the end of we it. We called Zoe too. I do remember Roe getting tossed a little bit though. I, that, that, was, that, was hey. Zoe. that was against Zoe. No, that was yeah. against him. He was fouling the shit out of me, bro. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we calling fouls. <laughs> <laughs> we calling fouls. I'm coming down the lane. He just, That's facts. Bro. I agree with that though. No, nah, man, that, that, unless it's nah. a heavy he, foul. We I was not defense. hacking. We no. bro, you literally. Apparently, me, if bro. I'm this horrible basketball player, you should have you should have cooked me. You didn't score. You did it. Maybe you're a defensive guy. I am. Maybe. <laughs> I am. Maybe. I know I'm a defensive guy. <laughs> Man, he's trash, dog. I'm a defensive guy. Rose trash too, though. Rose, don't let it get you to see the Rose. Rose, Rose, Rose is actually ass too. Hey, we playing, we playing the Rex and we playing against the Narps. Narps. We Bro, we, Narps. Ran, we ran no. the court. I made one turnover. Bro, that was one time one we played, turnover. we played him, like we brought a squad in and like to the wreck, we ran it. Them boys are sorry. The Narps? Yeah, they trash. But look, look, look. We, we won for sure. We, we was won, we, we was we was smacking ass, but pause. But home. we uh we get a fast break. <laughs> hey, they talking about I can't make. A be letter. quiet, bro. I'm talking. We we get a fast break. <laughs> look, he be quiet too. Look, All right, see, <laughs> you smoke. Hey, have it. so we that. we get we get a fast break. On the ride, Ro got the ball. He running point. <laughs> he running point. I'm on. I, I got the outside. Harry got the other outside. It's one guy. Yeah. One. And he can't split. Somehow, Roe passes the ball straight to the dude. Like, right to, like right to him. Yeah. Like, right to his chest. Like, like, yes. here you go. Bro, <laughs> I was trying to do too much. Like, like, I can hoop, bro. Don't ever No, play. you know what it was? In his mind, like, what he visioned, he, he was thought, visioning he, some fire shit. Yeah, yeah. he oh, thought. And that shit was ass. <laughs> oh, no. He could he get an bounce pass, no look pass. Mm -hmm. So what, bro? What? Oh, now it's so what? I can hoop, though. Right to do. You cannot, no, you can't hoop. You we cannot got, we, hoop. I think we got video for sure. I have video. Ro, Ro is definitely a layup guy. He's definitely mm. not. He's from, I'm from Chicago. We don't shoot. We cross you and we go to the right. But you don't shit. make it. He can't shoot. That's for finish sure. with both hands. No, you can't. You shoot line drive. You cannot bro. finish with both hands. You talk hands. about can't shoot. I shoot, shoot both shoot. hands. Who can't shoot? Drive, dog. They they talk about my game. Both of them are trash too. Like they are not. They can't actually. They're play. not holding themselves. No, they, they they're better than me. I will give them that. I can uh -huh. play defense. That's about it. But they can't play either. Bro, you happy to say you can play defense? That's how you. Know That's you how you know you garbage. That's fine. That's fine. In the hey, when we was running them narps. Oh, that's you something to brag winning. about. And I was scoring. I had me about two or three. This man bragging about <laughs> playing against neuroscientists and shit. Well, I was talk about, like, about my first day on campus, like move-in day and freshman year. And all the guys just want to be in their room playing the game. I'm like, there's hella girls outside walking around, moving stuff in. It's eight of us, nine of us in one room watching two people play. I'm like, y'all whack. I'm leaving. So you the you need some help. I'm, bro, I'm leaving, some help dog. And so, no, 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 no. So I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm just, no. Hey, no. <laughs> you need some help, baby. No, don't do that, <laughs> bro. I'm just thinking, like, why aren't we going out? And, and so. That's funny that you said moving day, though, because they, they was out. Yeah, moving, moving day. day. Yeah, that's that's the time. I ain't played no video game. To shoot. Yeah. Now, Harry was. No, no Harry had no. girls calling him other dudes' names. Yeah, right, bro. Yeah. But she called um, you Ethan, dog. Yeah. That one, that one hurt. I'm not gonna lie. That one hurt. That was Ethan, the one time Ethan's it actually crazy. hurt. Ethan. It's Ethan's not crazy. even. It's not even close. Like I get if it was close, but it wasn't even close. No, nah, Ethan's crazy. Like Ethan. Like I've race. never met a black Ethan. That's I, what I, I never met a black Ethan. Me I, neither. I, 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 there aren't any black Ethan. I don't. <laughs> apparently, there must be one. No. Like, nah. Cornball. Aaron, can you cut that? <laughs> nah. <Okay. laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that one hurt. We don't really need to get to that topic, but that one hurt. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Man, got hell of stories, man. Yeah, we got too many. But we'll, 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 we'll keep yours to a minimum, you know. What was y'all craziest corpse story? I want to know. Shit. The first time Corp snapped on me was uh oh, me. You oh, you meant like when Corp snapped on you? Know? It was me and Chef, freshman summer. We was um, late to class. We was typing the paper. We was like, we late to class, but we was like, we didn't think nothing of it. 
And like Nate Bell, he was checking Nate classes says. at the time. I don't know why he was checking classes. It's like nobody on campus. So late class and whatever. So we go to the weight room. We lifting. Of course, this is the old weight room. This one, the old casual old weight room. Of course, coming there, opening down door. Shit slammed so hard. He like, bro, Jordan, get your ass over here. I'm like, shit. So he take the kettlebell, you know, the door that leads to the gym. He kicked the door open and he threw the kettlebell hard as hell. I don't know how the shit landed perfectly in like the door just motherfucking threw it open yeah, perfectly. So he like, why y'all late to class? You know I me, mean? I'm like, and he's typing a paper. I don't, know. Like, I don't care. I'm trying to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, this ain't that Chicago bullshit. You, you go to class when you come here, all right? You be on time. I ain't trying to hear no excuses. I'm like, all right, cool, man. My bad, now. Damn. So that's one of them. You pull up to the first meeting in a white tee, I think. No. Then the first day, so first day official class, you know how you pull to wear polo or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know I me, mean? I don't. Straight thug, I'm from the crib, I don't care. I had, a, I just wore a white tee to class, or whatever, <laughs> tank top, something like that. Then Corp text me, Corp text me, like, hey, what you wear to class today? You know, I ain't gonna lie, so I'm thinking, he already knows. I'm thinking, he definitely he watching definitely me, or whatever. Knows the answer, but I ain't gonna lie, so I'm just like, why tee, why, I mean, whatever I wore, he was just like, really, bro? He like, that's what you do after we just, after we just had this whole meeting. He like, I don't think you're gonna make it here. I'm like, whatever. You know, I still don't give a fuck. <laughs> Uh, then I missed my first. I got suspended for first official practice. Same shit, being late to class. But every yeah, time I was being late to class, I was not trying to be late to class. I print out a paper, miss first practice. So you weren't planning correctly. Hmm. You, you didn't manage your time properly. Yeah. Time, time management. So no, you do no, that's this is the this was the first semester. This was the flunked out semester, dog. Like I want out here. <laughs> Bogus. Yeah. No, um, but so some crazy say, shit. I wasn't late. Crazy shit was the about that shit though. The snow shit. Snow. We it was was, was my sophomore year. It's snowing, so we out of school. You know Nashville shut down. Like it snowed so much, the roads frozen, everything. He texts us or email whatever. Get to the field. So everybody like rushing get to field. I'm like I'm finna call him, bro. Y'all tripping? I'm not going to the field. So I called him like. Like, he, nigga, he, 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 like, he like, yeah, get y'all ass to the field. So it's ice. So we got to slide down the hill from um, Highland. We get there. This man is on the field with a shorts and a you know, t shirt on, dumping hot water on the ice. You know, hot water makes it cold. So <clears throat> he like, he started throwing the buckets out. He like, get the buckets, make a, make a line, turn the showers on. You're about to break up the ice. We like, man, come on, bro. What's what's wrong with this dude? Um, so we get to breaking up the ice. It take like two, three hours to break up the ice. A couple players had pickup trucks, so they pulled the trucks on the field. Uh, we dumped the ice on the um, pickup trucks. That should take ground ball for ten minutes. I told we him, had to do the same thing. I told him I'm transferring, bro. He had the outfielders. They in the outfield. It's snow. Like they, I you can't break up the whole yeah, outfield. It was full snow. They shooting fly balls out. They can't move. He get out there. What the hell are y'all doing? Move, run. <laughs> Red's like, Red Wise, I'm like, course. Oh, come on, bro. We, and Messias, he just Messias in over there putting the ball in the machine, just like, shit, shit, shit like. Nah, the craziest thing, actually the craziest, but a funny core story, not him snapping on me, but just in general, preparing for Kentucky, they had a picture like 16. Bro, shine that was jelly. some yeah, bullshit, exactly bro. So, Nasty. to prepare, and he's on like 90, 93, mm-hmm. but like, it's, it's on top yeah, of you, yeah. though. It's on like, by the time he reached, he's on top, you know? And so, <laughs> cuz, that was the dumbest cuz get a John seen. Deere, drives the, dry, the John Deere right in front of the mound, parks it, nah, takes the regular the picture machine, picture Pick up yeah, the pitching machine, back back it on the put John it on Deere. top of the back of the John Deere. Bro. <laughs> so now this thing is way hey. up here, and it's, it's missiles. Just dog, moving two seams. Nobody was moving, hitting it, bro. Ninety from like fifty feet. So y'all thinking like this dude about to work us? Like, he, like, he, like, he, he did. He did. He did. He was gross though. Wasn't he the pitcher of the year that year? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was a giant. He made it now. 
He up there. Leagues? Yeah, he up there. I ain't oh, made it yeah, he made it with the Giants. But nah, I could put that thing out there, bro. I was like, and like they, they were put, to him, put the ball they in, they were like sit standing on the John Deere. Yeah, I'm like, bro, what are yeah. we like? The and they had another doing? cat that was like six eight too, the black cat. Remember, they went back yeah, to back. Uh, they were, yeah, they, they yeah. was he nasty was nice. that year. He didn't throw as hard, but he could pitch. Yeah, they was nasty. I that remember year. him. They what actually, was his name? Got, they had the best pitching staff in the SEC, like when? best bullpen last year, like this past year. Really? Shit, that was yeah, that was, that year. They were all seniors. Good. That's the only reason they were good. Are for my freshmen because they're just older. They were all everybody was a, was a junior. Dude was a jelly was a junior. Right, Another guy was like a sophomore. A lot of the position like players were yeah. seniors. Second base was uh, Mayhan or whatever. He was a senior. Yeah. Shortstop y'all, was a senior. What do y'all got on uh, LSU this year? And how like they're basically like loaded, just like a fantasy team. <laughs> NIL, bro. Yeah. Money. NIL, but like the transfer portal. Though. And the transfer, the transfer portal. portal. NIL, like. Ain't buddy getting. I'm looking for one point three. Be honest with you. No, it's, it, man, it's, 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 I don't think they're going to be that good. I, just, I mean, don't get me wrong. Their talent's crazy. Yeah. They're going to win baseball games, like all that stuff. But, like, that you think it's too teams good to like true? that don't win it, and, national championships. And that's what, like, Nick Saban was talking about that this year, with how, like, NIL kind of messed up, like, people, they, they mindset. Like, mm. people, kid, kids. Like, you can make a living strictly off of NIL. And, bro, there's. That I know that's on LSU's football team that are sorry that are making six figures, bro. Like sorry, like don't play, <laughs> like don't get bro, in. He got heated. <laughs> nah, bro, that shit pisses me off, bro. bro. It's so much money. It's bro, so much money. In, in Miami, they got the uh, some billionaire bro, boost, he's booster booster or something. Money out. No, every player on the team, no matter who you are, five bands a month. Mm-hmm. Like, five bands a month could play every day. Come, like, you ain't even got to oh, play, bro. That's no play, NIL, yeah. nothing. You just, you getting paid five bands. I'm just like. And all your meals and all that stuff man, paid for. That, that's bro, just, yeah. That's, that's, that's the top money. of it. Some, some play money. And, and so, you know they blowing it, too. <laughs> but I'm saying. Five smart bands. ones to put that shit bro, in the bank and we, hold on to it. Oh, man, bro. We had NIL. But me. No, that would have been great. I would have blew that shit. Like, college me? Yeah. yeah. That shit's and like You in Miami, too? Like, I would have put my shit up, bro. Man, in now, Miami. My, 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 my answer was like, I, bro. I'm gonna save like three thousand, but two thousand is getting spent. Nah, I would have put a, I would have put a little away, but I was spending it. He was just blowing through per diem. Yeah. <laughs> per diem was getting spent. After shoe, after shoe. Well, I thought they would take away the per diem like they did that one year. They did. So, they did. They, like yeah. they still were taking away per diem. Like remember, we had to take take the cash out. Yeah, we, we go to I towers cash and cash it out. Yeah, we had like, to go so take I the thought cash. They, we got to the car, and so I thought they were gonna take all the money. I still had, I had about twelve hundred left on my oh, yeah, thing. I'm like, card, yeah. after I'm like, I'm going straight to flight club. I bought like four pair of shoes, four hundred dollars. Never spend that much money. I'm like, I just, I blew through it. I'm like, they're gonna take it away. I'm just I'm gonna, gonna spend, spend it for sure. I'm about to go ahead and spend it. And I'm like, well, my brother, it's, it's been real, man. No, I really it's enjoyed true. my time with you appreciate guys. I really you, man, stopping it, yeah. by the crib, man. It's been, it's been great. You know, uh, some good stuff that you that you talked about. And so, Javier Vaz, man, Instagram, Javier Vaz, two, mm-hmm. two. Go follow the kids. Go follow them. Go follow them. Two percent. On Instagram, YouTube, all that. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. We out of here. Peace. Peace, 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 man. Thank you, dog. Shit, bro. That was cool. Appreciate it. Thank y'all for having me. For real. Appreciate you coming, dog.